Thank you all of the uh, high school coaches and players that are being honored this week. Um, that's a, certainly a great privilege for everyone. Uh, this is for us, um, big win. It's, it feels a lot better. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. We've been so close in so many ball games and uh, taking Oklahoma down to the wire and Florida and um, all the teams that we played against, you know, have been uh, very challenging. Uh, but to get the win in the fashion that we did was 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 really good. And I was so proud of our guys the way they fought. And um, they've been beat up. They've been beat up all year. Uh, you know, we've got uh, some key members of our of our defense out, and some key members of our offense that are out. But uh, the kids just keep battling, and that's what I love about this group. They're such a, a resilient group. They're gritty. They don't they don't get too high. They don't get too low. They don't listen to a lot of the noise uh, that surrounds uh, college football programs nowadays. And uh, they just really are focused and, and continue to get better. And uh, I can certainly assure you uh, as fans that uh, we're headed in the right direction and we are doing the right things. And uh, these young men are uh, in it with us as coaches each and every single week, each and every single day. Uh, we're all in it together and, and we're making progress. And I know that um, there were some disappointing losses, especially earlier in the year. But uh, by God, I, I mean, we're right there. You know, you go through stages of your football program um, where you have to learn how to win those games. And I think that's the process that we're going through. We just got to kick that door down and, and step through it and uh, start winning those close ball games like we did uh, Saturday night. So, does anyone have any questions? Yes. He did. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, yeah, Shy, Shy got injured, and um, you know I'm, I'm gonna let Coach Jones comment on all those things in his press conference earlier in the week. Um, but yeah, the, you know they, they offensively you have to take what the defense gives you, and I think um, they did a great job of running Dobbs, and certainly he was he was a warrior. I mean the way he ran the ball, and kept the chains moving, um, and once they were able to establish that, uh, I think it opened up you know some of the throw game for them. And uh, they were able to take advantage of that as well. And, um, you know, uh, good good defensive personnel uh, on the field for Georgia. I think they took advantage of some of the schemes and some of the things that they were doing. So I was real proud of our offense. And uh, glad that they were able to keep the chains moving and, and move the football as effectively as they, they were able to. Yes, sir. Coach, how many uh, recruits were on campus on Saturday? Oh, my goodness. Um, we had, I think, six official visits, but we had a ton of uh, unofficial visits, a lot from the state of Georgia, a lot of them hung around after the game. We were able to spend some really quality time with them, and, and uh, we certainly need them. You know, that's, that's the difference in, in taking your program to the next level. I know we've had a couple of recruiting classes back to back that, um, you know, we've got some high profile recruits and some good players, and we need to continue to do that each and every single year if we want to get to the level we want to, we want to get to. Um, and continue to develop these young players uh, and continue to add these, these athletes uh, to the mix, um, that's, that's crucial. But yeah, we had a lot of, um, a lot of unofficial visitors, uh, I'm going to say upwards of 50 uh, total, and uh, certainly it was a great atmosphere. The kids were very impressed, and uh, nothing but great things to say about Tennessee, the people of the, the community, the people that were at the game. And uh, certainly they left very excited, and it's a big help, big help in recruiting. My question is, man, we were brought up by the speaker over here. He was very pleased. He said he had to work on a lot of the speaker coach was fun running. Mm -hmm. And for various reasons, how much do you spend on the block of the entire thing? And things that like for day, for day, yeah, we'll, we'll always have daily must. Um, you know, tapping is certainly part of the daily must. You know, um, we'll do a circuit where we work different types of tackles, open field tackles, wide tackles, cut tackles, uh, all those things, uh, goal line tackles. So we, we work on those daily. It, at this point in the season, though, it's kind of a fine line, you know, where you want to work on tackling. You know that you've got some fundamental issues that you want to address, but by God, these guys are playing. 60, 70 snaps a game on Saturday, so you can't just go out there and beat them up, too. So it's always a fine line. We do a lot with uh, dummies and, and executing the movements that we need to get the guy on the ground. Uh, I know 
The offense is the same way. Uh, we do a lot of two on one blocks, two old linemen against one D lineman working combinations, uh, work a half line uh, for the blocking fundamentals that you want to get. But then you don't have all 11 out there, so guys don't get rolled up or you get piles and get somebody injured. Um, and that, that's such a big part of it, you know, keeping your team healthy. And, and like I said, it's a fine line. You want to go out there and you want to tackle these guys and you want to get good quality reps. Um, but certainly you can't beat them up. You got to get them to the game as well. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll start with Khalil. I think the uh, maturation of both Shy and Khalil uh, has really been great uh, from the time they reported in camp to where they're at now um, has been dramatic. You know, you see Khalil out there, they, you can't move him. You can't move him to Shy. We're just sitting there watching film. And, I mean, they're, they're active now. Their fundamentals are getting better, getting back to you know, your question. Uh, they're hand placement, they're getting off blocks, they're making plays. You know, down the line of scrimmage. So those are those are all really positive things uh, that those guys bring. The, the 300 pounders, and then you, you you can't move them. I mean, I mean they got 30 blocks for knocking people back. But, and now, like I said, they're they're transforming their game into not just playing your game, but getting off blocks and making plays. And um, so that's certainly good. And they've got they got a bright future. And, uh, they're both really good kids. They're, they're doing well academically. Uh, certainly uh, two players that you could, you guys would really be proud of if you had a chance to spend some time with them. And uh, they're great representatives of our football program. Uh, the other young man that I want to mention who has really caught our eye right from day one is Kyle Phillips. Kyle, we got into, you know, we, we used him, started to use him on our third down packages because he's such an effective passer. And then he got hurt. Um, you know, two games ago, he wasn't available this game. He, he didn't really practice all week. Uh, he had kind of a banged up shoulder. We decided not to play him. Um, he'll be back this week for the bye week and get some reps, and hopefully we can get him back out there, get him a brace, and get him ready to go. But certainly he's got a bright future at the University of Tennessee as well. Yes, sir. Coach, I know the whole defense has to play well win here in a couple of weeks, but who's someone specifically? I think, that, I think the thing that we have to do as a defense is that um, we have to start making plays. We've got to start two things. One is our pass rush. Um, we're not as effective as we were a year ago, obviously, losing Kurt. We can all see that. Um, we don't want to use that as an excuse. We still have to find ways to, to get to the quarterback and affect him. But then also, uh, when the ball's in the air, we've had, we've had opportunities. I mean, we've I mean, there was three picks in yesterday's game. I mean, once a walking touchdown. I mean, uh, you know, he's right there. He plays it perfect. He sees the split. He works inside. He runs the route for the guy. And just, you know, just drops the ball. And um, you know, we got to get back to to pat and go and at the beginning of practice and some of the things that we were doing earlier in the year. Um, but we got to make plays, and, and that's the key. You know, for us, we do. Um, we play great team defense. We have guys that are in position. Um, and we just got to be able to make some of those plays to get us over the hump, you know, to get us to that next stage, and that's really what we're facing right now. Yes, sir. Coach, I know you've been 